Hey, and if you want to wear that awesome new custom hat around town, we found just the cowboy for you. Ryan Mogenberg is the owner of Cowboy Carriage. Thanks for coming out here. This is so cool, this business you have. Thanks, thanks for having me on. Yeah, tell me about it. So we see you going through downtown Bend. Yep, I come down uh, mostly in the summertime and I sit next to 900 Wall or the Oxford Hotel and just take people for rides. Yeah, and so you have two, we have options. The reason why it became relatively appealing to me is I saw the big Bend Ale, Trail Ale carriage that you have where you can put like 15 or 20 of your buddies in yeah. the back and you just take them from brewery to brewery. We do. We do brewery tours on the Bendale Trail. Um, our wagon holds uh, about 16, 18 adults and a couple coolers comfortably. Yeah. And we go around to four breweries and get samples at the breweries and have a pint and take time to have lunch. Um, for the out-of-town folks, we take them to Deschutes Brewery and they get to go on the bottling tour. So, Which is nice. I mean, when you're coming to Bend and you're not from here, you definitely want to make, make a stop and do the whole Deschutes thing. Right. That's part of Bend. But how did you get into this? I actually got these horses from one uncle and I got the carriage from a different uncle and they got the bug from my grandfather. Really? Uh, we're all from Michigan originally and my grandfather had Percheron horses. Um, when I was a little guy, I actually remember Thunder and he looked just like my horse Saucer. Big white horse. Um, saw pictures of eight kids sitting on top of that horse's back and just no halter, no lead rope, he's just a great horse. So um, my uncle in Portland, Jeff, had Dan and Saucer and my big wagon and he delivered Christmas trees to everybody in with the, the area. Horses. With the horses. With the horses. Oh, that's so cool. He would pull up in front of everybody's house with the horses and a covered wagon loaded with noble Christmas trees and a whole Christmas party would pour out of the house and come and pick out a Christmas tree. I, I, I love that. I mean, it's another like great organ story but yep. now that big carriage is here it is, is. That, yeah it is i have his big wagon here and that's what we use for the brewery tours um i've done kids birthday parties and family reunions and just all kinds of fun stuff with and it weddings whatnot so yep. if somebody wanted to get a hold of you if they didn't happen to be at 900 wall or they weren't at the oxford in the summertime how, mm -hmm. how do they get a hold of you to go for a spin around Bend. And do you do, you know, custom, you know what I mean? It does it have to be on some certain path or can you go wherever you want no, more or less? I'm a licensed taxi cab. As long as the road doesn't have a posted minimum speed, I can go wherever. <laughs> There's a couple places I try to avoid. Yeah. But um, yeah, we can go anywhere we want. Um, if they want to get a hold of me, uh, most people find us on their website, on our website, cowboycarriage.us, um, through Visit Bend. Uh, they know about us there. Yeah. So um, people just, they search and find horse and carriage. Weird, weirdest story. Weirdest story. Uh, there's a lot of them. It's actually kind of hard to choose one. Um, I have some friends that like to, they stand and watch and they kind of keep track of all the questions that people ask me. I'm writing them down? <laughs> um, no, but it's kind of a running joke. Um, people will ask, I mean, I, I get obvious questions. How tall are they? How much do they weigh? How much do they eat? Yeah. Um, that kind of thing. Um, <laughs> Can you say it on TV? Is well, that, yeah. well, kind Maybe of. We a lot, you know, if they eat, <laughs> they eat 60 pounds a day each, they joke about how much comes out the other end. Oh yeah, so, well I, I noticed the big bags on the end. They, I'm sure that keeps the city of Bend they really do. happy. I call those their mud flaps. <laughs> No kidding. Well, they're on big trucks. You might as well put them on the back yep. end of a horse. That's, yep. that, that's my personal motto. Well, thank you for coming down here. It's really great. I hope that more people give you phone calls. I love that you can come to Bend and have yet another really killer experience in this town. And now you can do it by horse-drawn carriage. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, it's good. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Ryan. My window. We'll be right back.